My ego's fucking with me and I'm saying, nigga, you think you fly, honey, you ain't shit, look. Hey, bro. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. Bop, you don't want to these things. You feel me? good? My Patreon. I'm feeling crap with y'all, man. We're going to jump through some of these uh, docu-series, that Tyson vs. Roy Jones promo, dog. You know what I'm saying? Triller World Star got their uh, little campaign or whatever you want to call it. But they are the ones putting it together. So I did episode one. Two days ago. Bop, jump on. The second one. I don't know how many of them things it is. We're going to try to get through them before this fight. So, uh... Let's get it. Why do I want to be the baddest man on the planet? Sometimes I wish I could stop having these desires to go forward, to think that I'm somebody, because it's a lot of work. You got to be willing to get up every morning, 5 o'clock, hit that road, every day, certain time, hit that gym. That's <laughs> my life, son. Because that other man over there is willing to do anything that he got to do necessary to win. Fucking look at that. I have the belief. I have the desire. I have it all. I just have to be in the position to do it. Did everything I really wanted to do in boxing. I got the middleweight, super middleweight, light heavy and heavy. I was beating everybody in every weight class I was in. I wiped out the middleweight division. Wiped out the super middleweight division. Mm. Wiped Talking out the light heavyweight division. <laughs> middleweight division. Wiped out the super middleweight division. Wiped out the light heavyweight division. Hey, the man's looking fast though, boy. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's get it, bruh. So I wonder what I can make history doing. Nobody ever went from dream middleweight and became heavyweight champ. I took off and did it. But what Ray Jones did is just history making. He's just great and he's just the right guy to fight. But this Tyson ain't worried one bit though. He ain't worried one fucking bit. History making. He's just great and he's just the right guy to fight. But this is gonna be intriguing. This is gonna be challenging. Three to me last. Keep that weight. Huh? Keep your weight down. Too high up, huh? Yeah. You're coming off the floor. You gotta keep it down. My ego's fucking with me and I'm saying, nigga, you think you fly, honey? You ain't shit. Look. Hey, bro, just that dog, bro. It's just that crazy shit, man. How, how, what, what the fuck can you do? Like, he ain't scared of Roy at all, one bit. He said, yeah, he's done everything in history making. Yeah, it's intriguing. It's cute or whatever, bro, boy. I'm worried about my fucking ego. <laughs> he ain't worried about Roy. He worried about himself. Bro, bro, Roy looking vicious, though. Roy looking vicious, but that's a whole different animal right there. Down. Too high up, huh? Yeah. You're coming off the floor. You got to keep it down. My ego's fucking with me, and I'm saying, nigga, you think you fly, huh? You ain't shit. Look, the amateur getting here, kick your ass. You better get on top of your game. You want to get embarrassed awesome in front shit. of these fucking people? Awesome shit, bro. And then the other ego say, fuck you, nigga. Watch what I'm going to do. Oh, nigga. You don't know what goes on up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, this is fucking entertaining, dog. Tyson, I could just listen to Tyson talk all day, bro. Awesome shit, bro. And then the other ego say, fuck you, nigga. Watch what I'm going to do. Oh, nigga. You don't know what goes on up here. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Why they keep doing this shit, man? They got to do better. Where it begins and ends. We met in 1980 when he was in your angle out here. I'm trying to be in more. All right, fuck. There you go. Now look at you. Beautiful. Look. He's a killer in the ring, and that's the key. Cold-blooded assassin. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Perfect form. 
great right now. I just need some sparring. Mm. And after sparring, tell me who you want me to kill. Ooh, bars. I feel great right now. I just need some sparring. After some sparring, tell me who you want me to kill. Light them up, bars. Sparring. And after sparring, tell me who you want me to kill. Finish strong. There you go. Good work. I want to see these motherfuckers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know these sparring partners may think twice about getting in the ring with this fool, bro. I feel like I'm in enough shape right now that I can be ready to step to him With a guy like him, I'm prepared to go the distance. He's very explosive and very powerful. If he can hit you, he can take your head off. Mm -hmm. So he's a very dangerous man mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. I probably can knock anybody out. But I gotta hit him in order to knock him out. And that's not gonna be easy. Make him miss, make him pay, baby. You just owe she already to be the best that he can be on that particular night. So we're gonna go give it all we got. Roy looking quick though, but Roy looking real quick. To be the best that he can be on that particular night. So we're gonna go give it all we got. Mm, mm. Man for man, <laughs> I ain't think nobody can match me. Yeah, yeah. All right, go to the next one. Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm not a sucker in that I'm capable of doing really bad things to people if they upset me, but this is just what I am. I don't know why I'm like that. I mean, what? It's obvious I'm not a sucker and that I'm capable of doing really bad things to people if they upset me, but this is just what I am. I don't know why I'm like that. Or maybe I am a sucker and I don't know it. <laughs> no, I never thought about that. People don't understand, not only am I a good boxer, I can fight too. Mm. I just didn't have to do that much in my career. Mm. They don't even know that part of me. Mm. All right, Roy got the bars too, huh? He said, not only am I a good boxer, I can fight too. I just never had to do that without <laughs> during my career. That's all. People don't understand, not only am I a good boxer, I can fight too. I just didn't have to do that much in my career. They don't even know that part of me mm. exists because you I gotta got talk to that. Me. You gotta talk that shit now because you got that. You got that monster getting in the ring with you. I hear you. I hear you. So he's basically saying, I know I'm gonna have to fight. I know I'm gonna have to fight. I'm like, I'm gonna have to fucking do a little extra than what I <laughs> usually do because I got Tyson in the ring with me. I can't just box. I'm gonna have to fight this motherfucker. I didn't have to do that much in my career. They don't even know that part of me exist because I never had to use it. This time, I probably be forced to use some of it mm. that I never had to use mm. because you did with a much bigger man, mm. a much bigger specimen. Mm. I got a text out of the blue um, saying that his back was sore just so I could come down to Newport and work with him. And I told him one day, I was like, Mike, I'm like, let me get on you with the machine before you get in the ring. Let me see how much better you perform. Literally within 30 seconds of the ring, both him and his boxing coach just stopped and looked at me. They're like, what the hell did you just do? I'm gonna get ready to get um, rejuvenated. This is the electrician. <laughs> that gives you an idea of what's gonna happen in a few moments, you know? So, neuromuscular simulator. It's a mm. DC current, essentially enhancing our body's signal to recruit more muscle fibers. So you're saving wear and tear on the joints and tendons, <laughs> as well as improving strength and performance. You should look painful. <laughs> I couldn't do this shit out there. Really? Oh, I'll be pulling out of my leg. My joints be off, no way. I'll be retired like a month. That's what, listen, before he got back on the scene, and I started doing this, it was good. And then those pains, and I said, wow, this is why I retired. This is why I stopped by. <laughs> those pains came back, you know what I mean, Dre? You know, like old pains from you. Yeah. And I said, whoa, this is the reason I stopped. Hey. And then I got this. Hey, man, you can't believe this shit, man. With his way as you know, father pushed him and and um, <laughs> good girl. but he is still the nicest person, nicest guy um, you'll ever meet. Do you worry about Roy getting knocked out? No, mm. Roy and I talked about him fighting Mike Tyson. I believe Roy would have beat him in his prime. Whoo, I mean, I mean, he's supposed to say that if he didn't say that. 
he need to get that. He need to get the fuck off of Roy Jones' camp if he didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? But prime for prime, come on now, come on now. I don't know, but Roy. I mean, Tyson never had to see somebody like Roy Jones during his career. But Roy Jones was so much smaller than Tyson. I believe Roy would have beat him in his prime. Bro, the, uh, the build up for this fight, dog. Yeah, boy. Ironically, I was talking to Dana White on my drive over today. He said the Eagles are going to take over and they're going to start to bang. Mm. I'm just saying, they start to bang. Like, who favor that going? They start to bang. Who favor that's going to go in? Real shit. Nah. Roy better stay his ass in that boxing pocket and not try to bang with Tyson. Try to bang with Tyson, you can get his fucking head cut off. Don't be trying to bang. That's not what you do. Not what you do. Better fucking pick up a part and stay back. Take over, and they're going to start to bang. Mm -hmm. You and me? Happy my death, I died me. Hold on, what do you say? They're going to start to bang. You and me? Happy my death, I died me. Oh. Difference between you and me, I'd be happy if I died doing this. That's the difference. That's a bar. Let's go. God damn, I'm glad y'all set it off. Used to be hard, now you just went and saw first you was down with the AK. Definitely gonna have to cut this part out because it's gonna get demonetized, but we're gonna figure that out. Looking like straight clothes. Or block. They blocked my whole shit last time because they played Led Zeppelin in the background. Fuck you too, bro. Looking like straight clothes. I saw it coming. That's why I went solo. Shit play the play. When I think of Mike Tyson, I think of the first time when I met him. He put me in the headlock and damn near choked the shit out of me. He was only joking. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro, Flay looks. He look. She looks so nasty. Uh, he looked like he. Ugh. The shit out of me. He was only joking. <laughs> yeah, I know. My mom says, "Tell my brother I said what's up." The fight coming up with Mike and Roy Jones is going to be amazing. That's hard. Because once Mike gets into fight mode, anything can happen. Well, I think the fight is going to go great. You know what I'm saying? And I'm only that, but Mike, the way that Mike is looking right now, man, the way that Mike was hitting that bag today, I feel sorry for the bag. <laughs> Cause right now, on this shirt right here, it says 44. Hey, yo, who wants to be 45? <laughs> Not the RJ. Break on balls, break out friends, break out smoke. See, that's when Roy fell off and started doing that rap shit. Thought he, was, thought he could be a whole rapper and then fucking boxing career just started going to shit. RJ. Keep the main thing the main thing. Who say that? Break on balls, break out friends. Boy, I beat my tracks. When he beat John Ruiz, I knew then he could beat any of them other heavyweights. They knew it. But you can't just say any of them other heavyweights. Like, Mike Tyson is not any of them other heavyweights. Come on, bro. Can't we just be generalizing like that? <laughs> you basically comparing Ruiz to Tyson. Fuck out of here. I knew then he could have beat any of the mother heavyweights. They knew it. It's astounding to me to see. I'm looking at Roy training like he was training for Mike Taylor, Thomas Tate. I see that look again. Focus, moving well. I mean, just, we got a game plan. 
and like somebody come to take his title. <laughs> Pound for the Jones is pound for pound uh, one of the all-time greats. Uh, he presents major trouble, major problems. Again, um, like Mike, Mike, uh, when he shaves his beard, he will look 25 years old. When Roy Jones sees that on the other side of the corner, mm. <laughs> never underestimate fear. Mm, I know, I know what he's talking about too because. As I'm sure y'all have heard too, like Mike Tyson knew he would win fights before the fight even started, just by the the intro. You know what I'm saying? When they come into the ring and see each other, he knew he knew right then and there if he could beat somebody. He knew right then and there if he won that fight already before the fight even before even one punch was thrown, he knew he won that fight. Cause motherfucker was scared. Is that on the other side of the corner? <laughs> Never underestimate fear. Okay? Never underestimate fear. Stop it there. We're gonna stop it there. We're gonna stop it there. Man. This build up, bro. This build up, dog. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm, there. I'm glad I jumped on these motherfuckers, man. Let's get it, man. Y'all fuck with that. Fuck with this. Like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you want to. I'm gonna continue it on anyway. If whether y'all put in the comments or not. I've got enough feedback from y'all that, that tells me y'all want me to keep doing these things. So we're gonna keep on doing them. The fight is on Saturday. So hopefully I get all this shit done by Saturday, man. But yeah, if fuck with that, fuck with this, like and subscribe. Push that notification button for your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh Patreon family, love y'all, appreciate y'all. Oh.